latest on October 10th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics are still only populated by one cyclone, but a very powerful one, Typhoon Hagibis, which is a Category 5 in the Western Pacific. Yes, again, it was yesterday and for about two days before that as well. Day 283 around the world right now, day 131 of Atlantic hurricane season, where there are two areas of interest. The chances have dwindled on these two systems though. In the Eastern Pacific, not much is going on just yet. No invests have been tagged. Day 148 there, could still be development later on in the next week and Super Typhoon Hagibis remains strong out in the open Western Pacific which of course will be our feature in just a moment. The Southern Hemisphere all quiet still at this time. There's no storms active there. So the main feature is Typhoon Hagibis which we're giving 165 miles per hour and a pressure of 899 millibars earlier peaking with winds of 175 miles per hour just a few hours ago according to our satellite estimates 148 miles from Iwo Jima. The storm is expected to gradually weaken now as it passes by Iwo Jima towards the north. Uh, substantial weakening should occur. We could still be looking at a category 1 or 2 landfall in eastern and central Japan possibly the Tokyo region again getting typhoon conditions. Here is the storm, the latest satellite imagery. It's been touch and go on this throughout the day. Uh, wind shear has been 5 to 10 knots. It's been showing good displays of intensification earlier on and some good um, cloud tops banding around. The eye temperature has remained fairly constant at around 19 degrees Celsius. Very powerful still at this point, probably a lot more than many of us thought by now. The North Atlantic looking like this. You can see the two invests, 91L and 92L, 91 on the right in the center of the picture, 92 on the left hand side, it's got a center of circulation by the looks of things there, a bit of convection blowing up, could be an interesting feature. In the next 24 hours, neither of these systems are expected to threaten land, and the Gulf of Mexico looking fairly quiet there as well, um, a bit of a line of storms there from Yucatan up to Florida. Typical October setup there. The Eastern Pacific looking like this. Um, not much going on at this point. A few disturbances though. Uh, just dotted around the place really. Certainly can't rule out late season activity in the Eastern Pacific and to be significant activity as well. We've seen it all before in the past. The Central Pacific looking very quiet as well though. The Western Pacific, it's quite clear to see what the dominant feature is. There is a Category 5 typhoon on the loose. What is very interesting about Hagibis is that it has gone quite a bit east of forecast today and is still at the moment moving generally towards the north northeast or maybe due north now. Um, but it's gone much further east than that forecast and you can see it's trailing up towards the north as well. Lots of heavy weather headed for Japan. The South Pacific and the Australian region looking very quiet here, just one or two little disturbances over the Pacific there. And the Indian Ocean is very much the same, it's been like this for the last few days now. A few thunderstorms blowing up throughout the day, uh, but at the moment things looking very quiet. A bit of low level activity there, but nothing of a cyclonic nature. Sea surface temperatures, the eastern Pacific holding on just to 30 degrees Celsius along the coast. The Gulf of Mexico, actually the same thing there as well, getting a bit cooler further north now. The western Gulf of Mexico still 30 degrees plus and there's still a lot of areas there in the Atlantic region that have very warm waters uh, which could sustain another significant tropical cyclone. The uh, Indian Ocean, very warm here, 30 degrees plus, I think that's gone up a little bit, or quite a lot actually in the last few days. Western Pacific might be recovering just a little bit as well. The temperatures were underneath Hagibis still around 28 degrees Celsius, but ocean heat content is fairly low, which is why any strengthening of this storm that we have seen has been very gradual indeed. Um, and but, but it has to be said, it's been looking very good for some time now. It's probably produced a lot of cyclone energy. It's been a Category 5 all day today and most of yesterday and obviously a few days ago as well it reached that first Category 5 peak. Very incredible storm that we've been watching so far. So here we are, 70 storms have formed so far around the world. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Ima. 
In the Western Pacific, we're now looking out for Neoguri after Hagavis, and in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on this date is Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on any of those outlets too. We'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin, as ever, tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description. 